How's it going everyone? Just want to say real quick that I didn't see any videos on how to change out on the fuel filter on this bike. It's a 2019 uh, Continental um, GT650 Royal Enfield. So, you know, I'm just going to kind of show how to change out the fuel filter and get to it. So pretty much in this stage, just took the fairings off on the little plastic covers. This little sheet here, you use the key to unhook it, takes that off and I'll pull this little, little latched release, takes the seat off. So that's the basics of it. And just the main tool you're gonna need is a 10 mil. Go ahead and take these two bolts off. All right, so those two. Those two bolts holding it in. Okay. Back now, got two by four. Right here. Yeah. Just go ahead and place it underneath there. Just like that. Just lift that up. And you're going to notice that right here in the front end, there's going to be two little rubber parts that kind of hold the gas tank in there. It's hard to see it, but I'll show you when I take it off. So now, and go underneath here and there should be two you're gonna have two hoses these just come off there's no retaining on them one right here and then on the other side right there you can see it there's just another one you just pull off right here pull that one off and then of course your power plug like that and then you got another plug right here this one go ahead and hook that as well really easy Oops. Two ones, so doesn't want to cooperate with me so then one more thing you gotta hook and this is where it's gonna be a lot of gas you're gonna need this big towel You unhook this line, it's gonna be the fuel line. It's gonna get gas all over the place. Alright. So inside here, you can see where the fuel filter is up there. You see where it connects to those that kind of T-shape. That's gonna be your fuel line. And then right down here is where it connects. That and it's got these two little things you just gotta squeeze. Since I already drained this, there's no fuel coming out. But if you didn't drain it, there'd be fuel pouring out right now, all outside of that. There's your fuel pump. Okay, so now you go ahead and remove this, and it's free. Boom. So that's what it's going to look like afterwards. So, the fuel rail, and there's that plug that was there, and then of course the power for the pump. Then you got those two hoses. <coughs> now for the fuel filter. <coughs> when you look at it from here, from underneath, you're gonna see this connection you see it's held by a little rubber rubber thing so you want to go ahead and just squeeze these two tabs pull
just like that. So you just squeeze these two and they release it. Those two gray tabs. And then you just got one more piece. So you can see right there that little thing. Just holds it in place. And there's going to be a lot of feel inside this filter, so, so just be careful. Squeeze those two, pull it, make sure it clip out, boom. So, here is your fill filter. This little rubber piece holds it in. Probably keeps it from vibrating around. And this is what the fill filter looks like. Kind of a cheap plastic, but is what it is. And the reason why I'm replacing this because the bike would shut off on my wife. This is her bike. And the bike would shut off on her while well, she was in mid ride and so we believe that the when we bought it from the guy that he uh had it sitting for a long time and must have collected some sediment inside the tank or something and probably clogged this bad boy up so we're gonna go ahead and replace it and then just test it see how it goes that's it so here's those rubber things that hold it in place and also help with the vibrations so that's what they, the tank secures into. Show you that right here on the front. So if you're kind of curious about that, it's got those two. And what they do is they just hold and kind of just go around those rubber pieces and hold the tank from the front end, so there's no bolts or anything too crazy. You gotta pull out. Another bike. Hope it was able to help anyone who has this problem or is curious about what the fill filter looks like or where it's located at. This is a 2019 Royal Enfield Continental GT650. So, and I'll get back with you once we replace more parts on this or if we do any other types of modifications, which we'll probably be changing these out next. It's exhaust, but that'll be in another video I'll post. All right, enjoy yourself, be safe and